No, I've caught a couple people with this right hand and <laughs> Yeah, this is the money hand right here. This is all money. You get caught with this right, you're for surely going out. Crazy Horse always talks about his right hand, and I can fix that. You know what I'm saying? I would get him a girlfriend or something. I mean, yeah, I've been everywhere, you know, but and it ain't no pressure. The only pressure is, you know, couldn't wait to get back in there. That's that's the only pressure I have right now, is just Waiting to get in there. I know he got the right hand, but he needs to switch it and start hitting with his left. For all those guys out there that feel they can just, you know, try to put me down. And like I said, I haven't fought in two years. I've been jailed, locked up. Yeah, he's a, uh, you know, you gotta evolve in this game because uh, if you're just gonna come out with the same thing over and over again, of course, I've seen all his videos, I've seen every single fight he ever fought. So I already know this only chance to win is if he hits me on my chin and hits it really hard. I don't know anything about him, but I know this much. I'm gonna take my time with him. I'm gonna, you know, hey, I haven't fought in two years, so I'm gonna, I wanna give the crowd what they want. I've been down before, and I come right back up. This physique is to die for. <laughs> <laughs> Representing Team Trauma. Sponsored by Skin Industries and J Max Auto Outlet. Pride veteran, elite XC veteran, and a man of many disguises. From Ocala, Florida, this is Crazy
His opponent now entering King of the Cage Steel. Fighting out of a booyah, fight where corner. At five feet six inches tall, he weighed in at 158 pounds. Representing Team Gazi from Long Beach, California, it's is Anthony This matchup. I've been waiting for this matchup for quite some time. Crazy Horse is getting back in the cage after the 15 month hiatus and up to his sable antics. He will get on top of the cage like he normally does. I'm sure this is new to a lot of other fans, but if you've been following Crazy Horse over the years, you know that that is his, uh, that's his trademark, getting on top of the cage. Ooh, big right delivered by Crazy Horse. Anthony McDavid looking for the takedown. But I'll tell you what, Crazy Horse has got some great, great rustling skills and good takedown defense. But right there, actually gets taken down by McDavid. David tries to pass the guard. Now, what I know about McDavid is he's got some heavy hands, man. He's got a tough chin. He's, he's he, I, I would definitely say he is the other version of Crazy Horse. Both guys love to scrap. These guys are like superhuman beings when it comes to taking a punch on the chin. And Crazy Horse gonna go with the flow here. Gets taken down again by McDavid. That's two takedowns for McDavid, which definitely will score in the minds of the judges. As McDavid tries to continue to pass the guard of Crazy Horse. Now, like I said, Crazy Horse, an international fighter. He's fought in pride, a pride veteran, king of the cage veteran. And man, this guy brings it every single time. He's the kind of guy that is so unpredictable. I mean, I've seen moves from this guy that I've never seen anybody else perform in the cage in MMA. And I, I would have to say that that's due to his confidence of being in the cage. I mean, this guy loves the camera. He'll smile at the camera in the cage. And most fighters are focused on the fight itself. So uh, for that, man, Crazy Horse is just in the right frame of mind when it comes to fighting. Like that, I think he's, I think he's smiling right now, and like this is a big joke to him. And you know, I, I would have to say that that is a, it's good in some ways and bad in some ways, but good in the uh, confidence level of a fighter. Just so relaxed in there. And you can see Anthony McDavid working armbar and a reversal, and here it comes. Crazy Horse looking for a huge slam, and looks at the camera, and says, "Hey, what's up? What the?" Delivered by Crazy Horse after that airplane spin. I mean, that's something you never 